Your Mind is a co-production of Juxtaposition Arts, empowering youth and community to use the arts to actualize their full potential. Asian Media Access, working to connect the disconnected, and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Major funding has been provided by the Catherine B. Anderson Fund of the St. Paul Foundation and the Carolyn Foundation. Special funding to Remix, a North Minneapolis youth and community engagement program, is provided by to share a little story about things that uh, can be motivating, uh, not only for our young people, but uh, for people as a whole. I've lived here all my life. I was born, conceived over north, and raised, grew, I grew up in the same blocks that we're standing right now. 20 years in um, September. I lived here in North Minneapolis until probably around eight, nine, ten, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And we came back down here to North Minneapolis for about three years now. Mm -hmm. Raised here my whole life, yeah. I was born in California. My mom moved here when I was four with my older sister. Um, my mom is a teacher and when we moved here, she was continuing school. Mm -hmm. um, always working, especially in the disability community. You know, 16 years later, I am working with my community and got kids of my own and hopes and dreams, just as she did when she moved here. describe North Minneapolis as a uh, place where it's a lot of political confusion, then uh, people are confused in North Minneapolis. Specifically, we as people of color, uh, there's, in my opinion, no finances for first-time home buyers like the claim that are out there. There's uh, niches, setups, where people just can't have a fair shake, in my opinion, is, is how to get out. There's uh, dollars out there, but they're hard to find when it comes to people of color, uh, low to moderate income people. Jobs seem like that they're hard to find. And as I look around uh, North Minneapolis, it, it just seemed like a dead end for some people. My house is broken into. And that's when I thought, okay, and broke it up into a person that is possibly a former student. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, it hurt me, it crushed me, uh, made me feel like, wait a minute, maybe I need to, I got so far outside of myself that I'm not thinking or I'm not keeping the barriers up or not being alert enough or you know, conscious enough uh, or what else is really going on. So I ended up kind of doing my own kind of math and saying, had, this, had there been job programs, had there been this, that, and the other, maybe this young youth person wouldn't have thought to do this. Poor neighborhoods, you don't really have a chance. Say I was to go to St. Paul, a real nice neighborhood, like say just like across from a golf course. Yeah. Do you think that man is going to give me the residence there? You know, the guy that's the landlord. You know, he says, oh, he's lived over north for 36 years. I don't want that drama here. You know, so I think that in some cases, you're stuck here because of financial reasons and because people don't really want you to branch out. 
You know, because that's a lot of drama. Just when you say North Minneapolis, mm -hmm. if you're from somewhere else, you're like, well, he might be part of the problem. We believe in the North Side. It's the best place to live. Um, I wouldn't have it any other way. Beautiful houses, beautiful churches, um, Theaterworth Parkway. The schools are cool. It looks a lot of nice houses and nice yards and people were friendly. I love North Minneapolis. I always have. It's just um, our people, we are strong, strong community. I think it's really beautiful. There's a lot of homeowners over here. There's a lot of youth over here. I think that though it's misunderstood. I think it's been um, stereotyped a whole lot lately. The stereotype of uh, Murderapolis. I was scared to go on site because dangerous place. There are like a lot of homeless people living around here. More violence. A lot of people run around here oh, gang banging. Um, the buildings got graffiti on the wall, busted windows, signs, etc., etc. Guys hanging out in the corner doing their thing. People that are willing to actually step out and actually help help you. But stuff for black people, they trying to do for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Make the community better on their own. Police are around a lot. The media always portrays us having the highest AIDS percentages per capita, the highest crime rate per capita. Right. Um, mm -hmm. All these negative things yeah, yeah, yeah. about the north side. I like seeing people out on the streets all the time. Throwing trash on the ground and it blows up in front of your door. The trash blows by your residence. There are some things you can't control and I try not to worry about that. If I did, I wouldn't be over here. It only takes a couple individuals to spoil it for everybody else. It's not the whole north side is bad. If you see people standing in front of your homes, tell them to move around, you know, get away. You know, this is, you can't bring this here, you know. But as a community, and we don't say anything, we don't stand up, we don't speak out. We just sit back and be quiet and let it happen. Broadway, you know what I'm saying, it's vibrant, man, but it's just, it's trouble all up and down. We got, just beat up a whole lot like my brother got whipped in the face with bungee cords like Daniel got kicked in the face Ben got beat in the head with billy clubs and stuff like crap like that happened all the time like just lots of racial tension just because what we're a minority North Minneapolis has beauty it has beauty and danger at the same time a combination I was singled out a lot when I was growing up here Pretty much every one of my cousins who moved up here has some horror story about being jumped, just walking away from the bus stop. One of my friends actually had his house burned down because he was uh, Filipino, and they wrote a bunch of racial slurs all over his house telling him to get out. There's a church right down the street, so I know I can wake up in the morning and see that church and, you know what I'm saying, be blessed to see another day. You know, I work hard for my money, and I feel like I shouldn't have to worry about walking up and down the street in fear for my life. So I think this, the north side is very, very friendly, very alive. That to me is, is worth being here for and being a part of. I would describe North Minneapolis as a good place, a safe place, getting safer. Uh, lots of variety, lots of uh, culture. Lots of different kinds of businesses. The oxygen is great. It's better than California with all the smog and industrial. Mm -hmm. And the, the people is wonderful here. There, there are uh, many more cultures involved in the fabric of, of, Minneapolis, of North Minneapolis. But, you know, there always have been. Uh, just that some of the faces have changed, but it's always been a melting pot in many, many ways. Well, I like it because of um, a dynamic culture up here and uh, all the diversity of people, you know, every shade of, of humankind, you know, and um, I enjoyed seeing all the people out barbecuing and uh, fellowshipping with each other, so a real sense of community. What I love about Minneapolis, there's nice hard winters and there's nice hot summers. Yep. Per capita, we have more nonprofits, yeah. more churches, yeah. Yeah, more, right. more facilities, more parks, more programs that we've, as a community, have developed and cultivated and are cultivating mm -hmm. from the north side. Yeah. You can say all you want and you can believe all you want what the media and the newspaper right, says, right. but we're doing a difference here. Yeah. Yeah.
every 10 years it, get, it changes. I suppose with the times. Well, I mean, like in the, in the 70s, we were really still kind of square and country here, you know, and just really uh, kind of happy. And then in the 80s is when uh, the gangs started populating in all around the world. And the hip hop scene started, uh, there's, Minnesota has a, a, a strong hip hop scene here um, as far as being part of the originators of the graffiti, rap, break dancing, and things like that. And uh, Prince and his scene was pretty big in the 70s and 80s, and then gangs and things like that. And then uh, in the 90s, it was more of uh, drugs and um, a lot of gangs and people coming from out of town and uh, introducing the, us to the ways around the world and it really changed a lot of the kids that lived here. I remember it being cleaner when I was little. Environmentally, our neighborhood was really, um, it was really nice and quiet. It was kind of like suburban-ish. Christmas, they, they helped us like cut trees or cut the lawn or like helped us put up some um, fences, you know, and, and then we moved away and we come back. There's, our neighbors are so, they're, they're all different, you know, they don't, they don't come out, you know, they don't say hi. And it's, it's much louder in my neighborhood. It's really loud now. It's not as quiet. Loud. There's a lot of yelling going on during the night. Mm -hmm. And then there's a lot, of, there's loud music, you know, just partying and yelling and arguing, you know. There's a lot more violence too. And so now it's like the adults are scared of the children. Let's close Lincoln down. I mean, that's an 85 year old school. How you close that down? That don't mean nothing? Uh, you know, a lot more influx of, of people from uh, different ethnic groups. A lot of people are moving out of, out of the neighborhood. I see a lot of for sale signs everywhere because nobody wants to live here anymore. A lot of people are trying harder to make it a better place. The shootouts and the drive-by, I, I hate those stuff. If it ain't our problem, we just look the other way, period. People were living their lives more separately than it used to. You can't walk to the store without, you know, the police just patting you down and harassing you. There is just disrespect throughout the whole north side. It's the people who come here from out of town to destroy in this city. I'm seeing North Minneapolis, um, the foreclosures are tremendous. But it's too bad that the businesses are going away. Our children are slipping away from us. You know, they, they, they want to carry guns. I have driven up West Broadway a few times and noticed a lot of the men out, you know, with posters saying, you know, dads to be responsible and families to, you know, be strong together. And so those are people pulling together to try to make a difference. The lack of um, belief in the North Minneapolis, they've just taken out all of our schools. There's going to be a storm, and uh, when the storms come, changes come about. Yeah, New growth good. come up, you know, so like a fire. It burns you down, then there's new growths come up. So North Side is in the in the in the area of new growth at this present time. We speak as we walk, as we live. So we are growing. North Minneapolis. It's not a bad place, you know. I mean, a lot of stuff happens, but um, it's still a good place. You know, you get a lot more chances, more opportunities, more people understand you. And um, I also wish that people, just people in general, would um, communicate more. The different ethnicities and the backgrounds, you know, the businesses, they, should, they just need to come together. And I think there's a lot of people in a lot of pain, there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of fear, and we need to say that, because once you start saying something, you've released it and you've changed it. So if I start talking about the things that are happening in my house, then I come out of my isolation and my alienation and my feeling of being alone when somebody says, you know what, I had that experience and this is what I had to do, or call me when you need to call me. And that's how I have had to build my community and that's how I kept myself fairly strong. It's all about what you want to do. It's all about the goals you want to have. It's all about where you set your mind, where you set your dreams um, um, to be in your own personal life and well-being for yourself and for your family around you. The people, Northsiders, 
And you know, there's a, a certain pride. People love this place and there's a lot of talent here, mm -hmm. a lot of fun. There's, uh, you, you can see Broadway is getting uh, um, back to normal mm -hmm. where we got businesses, businesses and lots of different organizations like this, the music, the art. I, um, I love the lakes, you know, I love the trails, you know, there's really, and if you go to, you know, all around North Minneapolis, the houses are really beautiful. It's really, I mean, this is a classy place. It, it actually, if you'd study your history, this was like the rich neighborhood, you know, a while back, you know, and you can still see that. If you go down towards uh, the, the trails or over there by, uh, Theater Worth Parkway, mm -hmm. there's almost mansions over there. It's a lot to do here. The summers are so great, you know? Okay. North Minneapolis is really, really good, full of talent. Okay. I see more talent at the bus stop than I see on any of the cable channels. Yeah. You know, it's just full of people that are pretty much friendly. Got that old Minnesota nice. People need to just realize that the little things help. I would like to see more health food stores. I'm a vegetarian and it's hard to get a meal over here. So I would like to, you know, the chicken and fish shacks is fine. That's good, but I would love to see more vegetarian spots. I would like the corner stores to have some fresh fruits and fresh vegetables so a sister could get something to eat sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I would try open like a group so everybody would come in and like hang out and just like stay away from all the bad stuff. I would be more involved and like maybe pick a day to like clean the park. I think people need to be responsible and accountable for their space. The change, I would like to see more businesses in the community, um, better parks, parks with park homes, uh, park houses with programs that are running year round, keeping kids active. This black on black violence is too much. Police is out that can help stop this violence. I would show love. If I could make a change, I would ask that all of uh, the elders, uh, preachers, or whatever come out and come to unite with the community out there. These positive men out here, role models, that can really put everybody on a guideline to success. A lot of the people on the north side raising up and actually fighting to actually take back their actual neighbor because they're, get, they're getting tired of all, the, of all the violence. Especially the north side, y'all need patrol, y'all need people walking around, you need undercover cops, you know, to keep everything down. Men all by themselves, we run around straggling. We need to all come together somehow to help take care of these young men out there. I just keep doing what I'm doing. I hope I can be an example for anybody looking for an example. You know, we have been we have been oppressed for so long, and we're still here. We're still here making it, and we're strong, and we can do it. If he approaches me and he intends to do me wrong, then that's what he intends to do. But I'm gonna let him know. My mama, your mama looks like me. Your sister looks like me. Think about it. We just need more guys and not giving up on the kids. If if we start at home, um, with the training and the programs for the parents, I think that'll start to uh, trickle down. They want to build houses and get the blacks out of here, but they need to put money in to keep the blacks here so the blacks can have more adventurous things and opportunities for the young blacks. Not to be so segregated. I'm so sick of ex-convicts or people that's been on drugs, they can't get jobs, or they may have made a mistake. Nothing can happen for them, and they hold that against us and because everybody changes, nobody stays the same. We need to see more act, more youth activity. In order to make our neighborhoods better, we have to stand out and speak up. You need to speak out, talk to your kids, you know, don't be afraid of them, you gotta talk to them, you know. You're your child's role model. Give our kids something to do, more things to do. Give our kids more programs to attend. Open up more centers, more rec centers, you know. That's all to any type of program that'll keep them off the streets. We need the parents out here helping to build a, to get the kids off the streets and get them and help build a community back up. Help build your community. Clean your community back up. You know, you need all the help you can get out here. Not just through the police force, we need help with all. If we could all start having a positive attitude and start working together more, um, lead by example. Try and get everyone active, doing something positive. You gotta, you gotta start yourself. You gotta kick it off yourself. And then other people will join you. You know, like our first year of baseball, we struggled. We couldn't get no kids. 
And now we get we get tons of them, and it's going to be better next year, you know, and then the year after that. To help um, young families be able to parent their children and have um, access to all the things that make for good parenting. We we need to do something about the housing situation with so many for, foreclosures and people are unable to stay in their homes. I'm trying to find out ways to reinvigorate Broadway Avenue. But parents need to take control. Like let the kids take control. We need to take over and do our job. I just want the blacks for to come together and stop killing one another. There's not good public transportation out here and there's not a lot of stores that are open and that stay open for um, an amount of time. Cut down on the gang activity and the drug violence. Yeah, give them jobs. Yeah, more things for kids to do. Library staying open more. A lot of more youth workers helping out the kids instead of just with them. More social workers in schools and not closing down schools in North Minneapolis. Get more places for the kids to hang out in instead of hanging out in the corner. There should be more green grass than gray and brown. Cleaning up and picking up garbage and stuff just to help maintain my own community. Better environment for the young people, more things for the young people to do. The police needs to have a better attitude too as well with the youth. We need investment in youth programs, youth workers. I would like to see the kids be able to come outside, you know, and play, you know, without, you know, the gunshots and all that other stuff, you know, that that we see happening, you know, on, on, to, on a day like today. You have to make change by yourself. Everybody like does pitch in and help out. Collaborating with people. My hopes for North Minneapolis is that people really start to see and understand the greatness of this area and the historical context of this area as well. If everybody, if you can stay positive, stay away from the negativity, the little drugs and alcohol and all of that. To be more open-minded about the community and the people that live here and see how we can integrate everybody to a better community. The, the, solution, the solution to the problem is us. We have to come together and be as one. If we come together and be as one instead of killing each other and gang banging and doing whatever we're doing, if we come together as one, we can, we can make everything work. Love for everybody. I love everybody. Everybody have love for each other. Stop the killing, please. Our children, we need our children. Please put the guns down. We need our kids or we can just forget it. Everybody to pursue their dreams everybody to stop shooting each other and stuff like that. I think it just need to go back to the old school, you know what I'm saying, old school discipline. That's what it is. People standing up for what they believe and being positive and not being scared um, to stand up for their community. It's all about education. I don't care what, what, um, where you from. If you got proper education, you're going to learn to govern yourself wherever where you go to. If you can't make it in Minneapolis, there's nowhere else to make it because anybody can make it in Minneapolis because it's a great place. Start talking to each other and start getting together with each other and not being afraid of each other because I find that once you talk to people and if you talk to them especially in a one-on-one -on -one setting they're totally different than what they might be perceived. Is Wu, I-S-W-U me, it starts with us, community. Well, all of us need to start trusting one another and loving one another by showing it and have to be impatient with one another. And that's what would change the things in this state. Hip hop saved lives, it saved ours, it saved my man's life, you know. We all been in the streets, we from the streets, and our lives been saved by this music, you know. I would like to see more people having fun, more barbecues, more get togethers. Everybody that can spend time with each other, spend time with each other. Everybody keep smiling, stay positive. Yep. Don't let this stuff break you. Pressure bursts pipes, but it also turns coal into diamonds. So as much as it's bad, there's a new future for North Minneapolis. These people were rising up and share the wealth out there, not giving anybody anything, but sharing the wealth that already been earmarked for people to get out of the situation that they're in. I believe we'd be better off. I believe we'd be more safe to. People won't have to fight to try to survive, and I believe we can communicate better. Everybody work together to bring about a whole community change. Amen, so like 44 years. About 11 years. 
Yeah, you know, 13 years. Uh, all my life. For the past 30 years. I've been here for 51 years. In North Minneapolis all my life. I have lived in North Minneapolis for about 50 years. Moved here um, October 31st, 1974. 32 years. I've been here about four and a half years. Um, about a year ago. I've lived here for about four years. I've lived here for ten years. Uh, I've been uh, I've been in and out of Minnesota for about five years. Uh, about a year now. Been on the North Minneapolis side for about six years. About ten or eleven years. I've lived in North Minneapolis for about seven years. I was born and raised here in Minneapolis. Worked over here for about the past seven years. 10 years? Mm, off and on, I guess 25 years. Off and on, about 10 years. Mm, rough around 25. Okay. Almost 30 years. I think uh, having opportunities for people to say what they need to say is a, is a positive step. I don't think there is one voice. I think there's many voices and many, many tones and many songs and many dances. But what we need to do is find out what moves us all forward. Speak Your Mind is a co-production of Juxtaposition Arts, empowering youth and community to use the arts to actualize their full potential. Asian Media Access, working to connect the disconnected, and TPT's Minnesota Channel. Major funding has been provided by the Catherine B. Anderson Fund of the St. Paul Foundation and the Carolyn Foundation. Special funding to Remix, a North Minneapolis youth and community engagement program, is provided by...